There is an incredible new sight in the countryside of eastern China. It's a skyscraper taller than any building in London or Tokyo. They call it the village in the sky. The 328 meter super tower will open this week in the communist model village of Huaxi in Jiangsu province. It's set to be a new symbol, both of China's extraordinary economic expansion and also the land pressures and rash investment that could undermine future growth. In state propaganda, Huaxi has long had a reputation as a pioneer, but the village and its farmers have come a very long way since the Mao era. The new skyscraper exudes wealth and excess, from its gold-plated reception to a floor inlaid with gold flakes. There's also a one-ton solid gold statue of an ox. The tower also shows China's rising consumer power. The Longxi Building, as it's named, will open on Saturday as a hotel with 826 rooms and southern China's biggest banquet hall with enough tables for 1,600 diners. That's almost as many people as the population of the original village. It's the brainchild of this man, Wu Renbao, the former leader of Huaxi, whose family now dominate every aspect of village life. Wu expanded Huaxi's business from this small factory, now marked with a commemorative plaque, to a sprawling industrial center that boasts of being the number one village in China. In the past seven years, its sales have increased fivefold. The triumphs of the Wu family are proclaimed at the village museum and in lectures for visitors at the Huaxi Auditorium. But the tower also symbolizes the bizarre extremes that this village is having to invest in to maintain fast growth. That's because its core money-making industry, steel, is no longer so profitable. There are also growing environmental concerns, and land is harder to come by. Huaxi is a microcosm of China and indeed the world. It's a third world village pushing ahead to become a first world city. But given the land pressure, can it maintain this momentum? That's the big question. But perhaps I only ask it because I'm British. And as Secretary Xi'an told me yesterday, British people are just too conservative. Huaxi is now trying to make the difficult transition from dirty industry to a service sector economy. It has moved into commodities trading, tourism and aviation. It has even started a helicopter business, initially to show visitors the new heights that this number one village has reached. But as you circle the super tower in the countryside and its giant disco ball, you have to wonder, hasn't this become the village with its head in the clouds? <laughs>